Another day, another dyno. Hey guys, uh, Bart and I are back on the dyno, this time with an LS3, which as you can see has a small Whipple supercharger. This engine was actually previously rebuilt by another shop and the customer brought it in because it was making noise, it wasn't running right, and um, wanted us to diagnose it. So he was sold on the fact that it had four rods, it was supposed to have forged pistons, it was supposed to have a custom cam, and you know, upgraded push rods and new roller rockers and when we tore it apart we found it had stock rods it had stock pistons it had a, a stock reground camshaft and the actual roller rockers the, the cheapest of the cheap imported rockers were actually falling apart the needle bearings were falling out so that was part of the problem that was causing the noise um, you know people always say well how come you guys are more expensive than and so and so down the street well, the truth is, with us, you're going to get what you ask for. You're going to get exactly what we put down, which are the premium parts. So, what we did on this one, we went four rods. So, he actually has four rods now. He has forged pistons. He has a proper steel uh, top ring set. He has a custom cam, an actual custom cam. He's got man push rods. He's got uh, brand new stock LS3 rockers, which we upgraded with the bushing kit. Now, what he doesn't have is the CNC ported heads that were or CNC ported that he got from the other shop. Let me show you. This is what he was sold. These are supposed to be CNC ported heads. Now it looks to me like somebody gave a five year old a Dremel and said go at it. Honestly I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. This is, I mean it's just, it's just horrible. You can see that, look at the intake runners. Yeah, it looks like somebody just let loose in with the die grinder. Mm-hmm. Had um, one too many beers. Yeah, which, you know, wouldn't be a problem, but, I mean, there's areas right there where it, it just creating all kinds of mountain hilltops. Oh, yeah, no, with, no, look at the back of the, the valve. No, no, look at the back of the valve. I mean, up here, you can feel, I mean, you can, it'll catch the back of the seat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you want nice, smooth transitions, guys. Uh, if you're learning a port, uh, just remember, uh, think of how water flows. You want it to flow smooth mm. and the right. path of least resistance. So we're not knocking hand ported cylinder heads. That's in not fact how I mean, most right. CNC ported cylinder heads start off life as hand ported cylinder heads. So, and then we digitize them and, and make our life easier by being able to repeat everything time That's and right. time again with the aid of the machine porting the cylinder head right. instead of your hand so yeah well that's the thing once it's digitized every port will be the same once you find the perfect port so now cliff has got a proper cnc ported head stainless valve you know pack spring so he's ready to go now i know how much horsepower this engine makes and i know people always say oh well, my engine made so and so well you got to remember this thing is a tiny 215 duration cam uh it's supposed to idle like stock which it pretty much does. I think we've had it at 700 RPM and still plenty of fun because he does drive his kids in it. So anyway, let's see what it does. Hey guys, another day, another dyno. So we're here with the LS3 Whipple charged, about to see how much power it makes on 91 octane with a safe tune up. And this is going on a daily driver with a 215 duration cam. Uh, really <clears throat> something that can be driven every day all day, every day, a true grocery unit. As you can see, uh, idles at 800, we can even idle it down to 600, uh, 650, we had it down idling 650, so. All right, so 6,400 RPM. Seven foot pounds of torque peak at 5100 RPM and boost coming on strong up to 7.6 pounds of boost and uh, 653 horsepower and still climbing at 6400 RPM that is something that you can see here in the graph nice flat torque curve uh, wants to keep going looks like maybe by about 6600 might be done and uh, 
what we look for is a nice flat uh, air fuel ratio. Thank you, fuel injection. You're not going to get something like this out of a carburetor unless you really spend some time with it. Again, uh, <clears throat> conservative tune up, uh, 0.8 lambda here on the top, it got a little bit richer. Uh, 0.8 lambda, 567 foot pounds of torque. 653 horsepower, LS3, daily driven, all day. All day, it's got 500 foot-pounds of torque at 3,100. That's oh yeah, that's drive. one thing that we, we do uh, often overlook here. You guys are always fixated on these big red numbers, which is the peak number, but really right here, this 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 band right here from peak to, to peak, you know, you, you spend more time down here. So 500 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPM, um, and just climbs all the way to 567 and then it just kind of peters off and comes down to 536 so you pretty much have 520 foot-pounds of torque uh, more or average from 3500 on up this is going to be a tire fryer pretty snappy all right guys uh, thanks again for joining us and uh, give us a call we'll get you squared away on all of your engine needs and applications uh, we do custom design engine applications for your specific combinations so give us a call uh, we'll get you dialed in see you soon